Our aquaponic system flows by gravity through a series of components to create the nutrients, to filter those nutrients, and then uptake those nutrients in the form of foliage for our plant production. So the first stage, the highest point in our system, is the fish tanks. Our fish tanks are filled with Blue Nile freshwater tilapia, but in any aquaponics system, you can use pretty much any type of freshwater fish, from goldfish that you might have at your house, to koi that you might find in a pond, all the way up to striped bass, which might be marketable to your local environment. From the fish tanks, our highest point, we've moved that water to the second component, our filter tanks. These filter tanks simply separate out that solid fish waste from clean, ammonia-rich water passing through that filter into our second filtration, our third lowest component in the system. This media filtration, or rock bed we call it, allows us to convert that high, rich ammonia into a nitrate through the nitrification cycle, through nitrifying bacteria, and also implanting some red wiggler worms to help us really clean out those beds from any of the bigger particles that you might find and might clog up some of the smaller drains down the line. These beds are also equipped with a flood and drain flowing technique. This flood and drain technique is very similar to what you'd find in a tide pool in the ocean. So when the water rises up, it creates that nutrient rich environment. But as that water flushes out at a very fast rate, it creates tiny bubbles of oxygen, not just for that nitrifying bacteria, but also you can plant certain vine crops, rooting vegetables in this rock media bed, and their filter is in the form of their roots. And so that really takes on a lot of that nitrogen that you'd find in the beginning of the system before it can really dilute throughout the plants in the hydroponic system. So now we're at our last and final stage of our gravitational flow, our lowest component, the hydroponic side. So this water flows from the media beds into our deep water culture is what they call it. From the back to the front, we're supplying it nutrients until it ultimately sends that water directly back to a pump, sending it straight to the fish tanks, recirculating that process once again. We flow this water at about two to 3,000 gallons an hour. And so we're recirculating this process at very fast rate, not just to filter out the appropriate amount of material, but also to really supply the nutrients thoroughly and consistently through every section of our plant propagation and our plant production area.